The Berlin Wall came down in 1989. Just before that, there was a spray painted graffiti saying on that wall that has moved me and motivated me since then. It said, we are in love with the influence of power. And we need to be in love with the power of influence. For some time, I've tried to find a clip, a movie, just a segment that would show the difference between power and influence. And I found one. We're going to look at a clip twice from a movie called Deep Impact. We have to go get gas. There's no time for that. Repressurize the cargo bay. He's going to die out there. We can still find him. He has a beacon. I, I don't have time to argue with you. Just sit down and be quiet. I'm on the fucking locator. Use most of our propellant to get us out of the coma. We can't just leave him. We have to go back. If we go back for Gus, we all die. We can't just leave him in space. Sit down, man. Sit down. Just a couple of notes so that you understand the context that we're watching. This is an international exploration to go into outer space from several different nations. The fellow in white is coming up the staircase. And when he says, we have to back and get gas, he's talking about someone who is one of the colleagues that is outside the shuttle right now. So he's not talking about GAS. He's talking about someone's name. The second thing that's important to understand is that the person in blue is the commander and the person in red is one of the fellow shipmates. She's the navigator. Now, go back, watch it again. Watch how the person in blue, the person in charge, initially uses power to try to settle the person in white metabolism down. Doesn't work. Switches to influence. Wow great flexibility. And notice the metabolism, how white does settle down. We have to go get gas. There's no time for that. Repressurize the cargo bay. He's going to die out there. We can still find him. He has a beacon. I, I don't have time to argue with you. Just sit down and be quiet. I'm on the fucking locator. Use most of our propellant to get us out of the coma. We can't just leave him. We have to go back. If we go back for Gus, we all die. We can't just leave him in space. Sit down, man. Sit down. So we've studied something that is under 40 seconds and represents a spray painting on a wall in Berlin. Now, we're going to go back this time. We're going to stop it right when the person in blue, commanding, switches from power to influence. We have to go get gas. There's no time for that. Repressurize the cargo bay. He's going to die out there. We can still find him. He has a beacon. I, I don't have time to argue with you. Just sit down and be quiet. I'm on the fucking locator. Use most of our propellant to get us out of the coma. We can't just leave him. We have to go back. If we go back for Gus, we all die. We can't just leave him in space. So the nonverbals of power is usually loud, turning the head, direct eye contact, and often talk very rushed. The nonverbals of influence is you slow down. You don't have to make eye contact. And it's even more effective when you whisper. One more time, watch it. 